looking at their politics, rookies, people you meet, you want to, you want to uh, Kevin Vorto or Brain Party. I thought I see him coming. Oh uh, yeah, there he is. So I mean, see, just like everything else, I just seen uh, the the deputy from Cabelton. What's the last name again? For that. But that guy from Cabelton. Uh, what asked about the bait? He was stood there. I asked him who he was. I thought it was Damour. It wasn't. It's laundry, another one. So he ran across. So uh, now I said, uh, this guy coming across. His name is Kevin Votor. I, uh, I said Votor. It's also known. How come I always got Votor in my head and not also known? <laughs> so. You know, these, these, they're new, they're new, they're, they're rookies, they're, uh, you see, they're trying to feel the way they, they don't jaywalk, they're doing good, the liberals, they jaywalk all the time, uh, the uh, Green Party, at least, they follow the law, the bylaws, but there's one thing I wanted to know uh, earlier. I'm very sorry, I didn't want to be rude earlier. But I didn't want to repeat myself and uh, re hate people that repeat themselves, right? Oh, yeah, I got the camera on, of course. <laughs> uh, listen, what's her name? The member of Cook, Sackville? Megan Mitten. Megan? Yeah. How is she? Uh, is she all right? Uh, Absolutely. How's her health? She, she's been here here in Fredericton, okay? Absolutely. Okay, so did I hear a rumor that she's supporting the Trump speech? Yeah, I did also. You did. I can understand her. Maybe she was brainwashed by the charm of the premier. You did also. Yeah. I okay. announced that today. You announced that. Oh, by the way. Yeah. Okay. What do we got today? I'm not gonna grab it like the last time there. What is? is isn't that? Isn't that the queen? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. This, isn't that Scotland? Scottish or? So. What is it? This is a tie given to me from. Um, from a fellow Green member, um, Stephanie Coburn, who was a tie of, of her father's. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Okay, going back. So you're supporting the Trump speech. Yeah. Why? Um, I do not think that the, the wounds of the shale gas uh, attempt in Kent North have uh, wounded, uh, have healed, and um, any breach in the moratorium um, would be a catastrophe. And I think that, um, you know, I, I've been talking the talk about um, you talk You talking? I find that hard yeah. hard to believe. I, I can read mine. F off, Charles. Let me talk. Okay, uh, go, go ahead. You know, I've been talking the talk about um, leaving a better place and a bigger place to uh, First Nations. Yeah. And um, So the bottom line is they support walk. show gas. And you can't support a party. You can't side with the PC. Party because of show gas. Absolutely, I, I, I definitely wanted to uh, to stand up for the people that protested against shell gas. Yes, and, okay, I can't fight that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is show gas. So her was she show gas or the charm of the premier? That's what I was concerned of. I don't think anyone has been charmed by the premier. Nobody know. Um, he tried hard though. So I, I could I could even send you my statement. Um, oh please! I, I I come on come on come on! We we, we don't have two hours. Yet. We already <laughs> we already, I, one of these days. This but by I, the way, very, this is a former this is a former farmer, and I'm he's I a was farmer. Very farmer. very <laughs> critique about the the last four years of the government liberals. Um, I, I, in, in my statement, I was very clear that the leadership uh, of the Premier um, was very um, soft. Uh, it's not very good leadership. No. And this is not a, a I, am, I have not voted uh, confidence in them, um, but I, I, I have taken a decision. And that decision is to stand with the people of Kent North and... and Not bad, you, you removed that frog out of your trout there and you're doing, you're doing pretty good. Yeah. No, we're, we're, we're two frogs, we're doing very good. Uh, so no, but I mean, we gotta speak English, Some, that's why I'm speaking English to you. By the way, I, I just found out you were a member, president of the Acadian Society in New Brunswick. Yes, I was. Stay tuned for part two. <laughs>